hey, hey. What you got to say? I got something to say, y'all. Praise the Lord. We still in the land of the living. This is Pastor Allison John Hall, your pastor of the airways and spiritual entertainer. And I just like to share, y'all. I am happy. And I just like to share. And um, I God has got me on a, a very wonderful, clean diet, okay? So if anything changes, if I do anything different in my body, in my diet, I know exactly what the problem is. So what, I, what happened was I ran out of mandarin oranges a few days ago and I was I was noticed I was getting sleepy and when I was watching my granddaughter and I'm usually not sleepy when I watch her so because my diet I eat the same foods every day I was like okay so what's different about my diet and it was I was out of mandarin I hadn't eaten mandarins I eat like four or five of them at a time I, well a day I just snack on them they give you energy y'all they also build up your immune system, immune system the vitamin C um, in mandarins, is, and it has a 9.5 pH balance. So it's very, very, very one of the best things you can do to boost your immune system to prevent getting cancer, prevent getting COVID or any other viruses. Okay, so check out some mandarins or whatever other vitamin C, you know, like lemons. I drink lemon water all day long um and i feel good i feel good god gave me he told me exactly what to eat to, from for my body and i suggest you ask him what to eat for your body and he'll tell you he'll direct you to stuff when you ask god questions and you believe and you're going to get an answer you'll he'll show you he'll make it so clear as day clear as day he's real y'all <laughs> god is real He's real. I'm on my way to my voice lesson and um, my piano lesson. I don't know which one it is today. We alternate between voice and piano. But I was happy. I called Mr. Cooper up yesterday to wish him happy, to sing happy birthday to him. And he said, your voice is sounding better. He said, your singing voice is sounding better. And he didn't even know I was taking voice lessons. <laughs> So I'm like, way to go, Jana. She worked hard for the money. So hard for it, honey. <laughs> Jana getting me results. She's wonderful at Strum University. She's my voice and piano teacher. And she is a child of God and the sweetest spirit you ever want to meet just a beautiful person i'm so blessed i am blessed do you hear me so i'm on my way and i just wanted to um pop on and tell you that because i know a lot of people drink coffee you know to stay awake i used to drink coffee but god took caffeine out of my diet me being bipolar well i'm i'm still classified as bipolar but I don't suffer bipolar symptoms anymore and I don't take medicine anymore either I used to take a lot of medicine until it made me sick and God told me how to get off of it and he showed me how to combat all of the symptoms without any medication and I wrote a book called cracks in the potter's clay how I overcame bipolar one through faith available for ten dollars signed copy on my website www.allisonjones.com or you can get it on ebook on on Amazon, the paperback, um, hard cover, ebook, and audio book. And I narrated the audio book by myself in English and Spanish. Um, and if you don't have money to buy the book, which is you know it's just eight ninety nine on Amazon for the English, nine ninety nine for the Spanish. Um, that you can always download it for free, sign up for the free trial for Kindle and Audible, and you can cancel it anytime you sign up for the trial, download the book and cancel it. It's okay. They don't get mad if you do that. <laughs> it's no obligation. Um, but a lot of people are saying the book is really helping them. It's, and I just tell, I just share like I share now. I just was talking. God was just telling me what to say. And it's really helping, encouraging people. And if I can be happy, anybody can be happy. I was classic bipolar one symptoms. Classic. 
And now I'm happy every day. God has shown me how to do it. I walk in the victory every day and I walk in divine health every day. Hallelujah. Thanks to the power of the Holy Spirit, this direction, and standing on the Word of God. Yep, yep, yep. So, bipolar people shouldn't drink coffee. It should stay away from caffeine because we have a lot of energy and we don't sleep well at night. We don't require as, as much sleep as as most people we just don't i average maybe five hours of sleep a night and i'm good i'm good um but so but i don't do caffeine anything with caffeine in it because it'll keep me awake and what happens with with bipolar people when you get tired you know your, your brain you have you know we're very creative people we have a lot of energy and we do a lot but what happens is we go 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 this is called bipolar we're up we're up we're up we're happy we're up we're up we're up and then we have so much energy and we expend all this energy and our body our mind doesn't tell our body that it's tired so we ended up crashing and when that crash comes the irritability comes you get irritable you you you, you know um it's just not good. It's not good. That's where the, that that word crazy comes from. Because your behavior, you'd be like off to overreacting to little things, you know. And it's like, what's wrong with you? You're just tired and you don't know it. But see, God had to get me by him, by myself, in order for me to hear His voice clearly. And He lets me know when I'm tired. He lets me know when I need to take a nap. He he's, communicates with me he talks to me he tells me what exercise to do i need to exercise every day i exercise every day and i sleep like a baby at night so i better get off here before i miss my turn <laughs> i just came on to tell you about the vitamin c okay god bless you love you have a beautiful god bless evening pastor allison joan hall your pastor the airways and spiritual entertainer signing off